Okay, boys and girls, we're back. It's September 9th, 9.52 a.m. We are in the cart, so we will start. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, oh, Phoenix, look! Hmm. Prosecutor Edgeworth! I received a call from the public prosecutor's office yesterday. Mm -hmm. He told me whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith the judge will listen to me. What? Does White have the judge in his pocket too? So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story? <sighs> I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent man like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who's guilty and who's innocent. All I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth. You've changed. Mm. Phoenix, you know him! Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix. Well, court will be opening soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. He's not. I'll be defending myself. What? That's so unheard of. A lawyer taking his own prosecution versus defense in his hands. Okay, let's do this! What kind of defense Let attorney would want to defend himself? Defend himself? Right. I don't know. September 9th, 10 What if you can hire... What'd you say? I said, what if you can hire, like, someone who's way better than you? Well, I mean, yeah, then. But... The court is now in session for trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, your honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, your honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the, de as the details of the event are quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of another witness in the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask why Edward? Why didn't the judge ask Edward why his witness didn't testify before? It's like, it's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's gonna raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Eh, let it go. Forget it. I smell a trap. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Bling! Er, uh, your name. Yes, that's what I said. Oh dear, do my lo uh, locations confuse? Name! These two are great together! My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Neo. Neo, 
I am the CEO, or are you, or use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. Ah, uh, you lying sack of shit. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. Ahem. <laughs> why tell you that? Not why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's terrible, if I can't rip this guy a new one, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Ho ho ho! Bling! I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. I'm an atheist. Let him have it, Phoenix! Atheist powers activate! Witness testimony, witnesses count. Let's see, it was about nine, I believe. I was quietly peru um, uh, purifying. Per perusifying? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess it was. Perusifying. I was quietly perusifying. Er, uh, that's reading to you some papers by the window. Then I heard a badam coming from outside. Bedlam. I don't care. I'm pronouncing words however I think this idiot would pronounce them. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was when I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testified, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Er, uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. So cross-examination. Witnesses account. Well? Uh, do you want to just plow through this one? Nope, I'm going to press it. Or do you want to... <sighs> How do you know what the time was? Because I'm always absolutely positively perfect, you know. No, no, no. You're not getting away with that. You are so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for nine. It happened soon after the room service arrived. Hmm, that's what Miss May said, too. Hold back. I don't see anything to gain by attacking him on this point any further. Okay, what were you doing at the time? By the window, you mean... The one directly across from Fay and Co. offices? Correct! That was the only window you see. And there you were reading papers? Correct! The Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I'm a busy man who had business to do. A bedlam. It must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. Hold it. <laughs> so you were reading your papers until you heard that sound? But of course, I am no snoop peeping out the windows at night. No snoop. Yeah, right. You made a career out of snooping. She just call you Snoopy. Hi. 
It's, it's spiky haired. <laughs> that got us far. What you just said was directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Blink. Counting both eyes, 40. 40? Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, whose side is the judge on anyways? And what did you do then? What was Miss May doing at the time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know she had been tapping the Faye office phone? Irrelevant, that has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not, I will answer the question- the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone on the Fay woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Ho ho, after all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. The victim, she ran away, but you gave chase. Should I present something or press it? Press it. You need more information on this one. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprehende. I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? Bling. As you know, I am always absolutely perfect, perfect dente. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. We're so tired of your shit, White. <laughs> All right, this is the time where we punch him. We punch him hard and in the dick. Present dick. Oh, but I forget what we present. Uh, floor plans? Examine it. Check it out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's floor plans. Nope. The witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. Hmm. No, I'm sorry, but I see nothing faulty. Unfortunately, I oh, have I to remember. Miss May's testimony. I'm sorry. The victim ran because you were chasing her because testimonies. Objection. There we go. Wait right there. Well, okay, I'm not gonna go anywhere. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Uh. Oh ho ho, it is simple, you have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. See, this is why I thought floor plans. The killer was here. And the victim here. If the victim ran to the left, as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. You, don't you find that odd? Ah. Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see our victim run left. 
So did he witness the killing? Wait a second. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Miss May says right and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? They're both right. Both witnesses are telling the truth, for once. Ha! Huh, I doubt it. Er, uh, rather, that doesn't clear up the contradiction. There's one scenario that would explain conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Rubble, 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 Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He's not viewing the crime from the hotel. Press farther, Wright. Press farther. I want him to die. <laughs> if he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? That the position would be switched, Mr. Wright. In the law office of Fanko, of course. Rubble, 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 smash, smash, smash. More specifically, he was standing here. The K, please. Boop. Present. This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran for the door, he was watching from this point. To him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing, Mr. Wright. <laughs> the killer was standing there. Order! I will have order! Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? R Rapscallion! The, the postulations of the defense are in distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a little bit far-fetched. Uh, ho, ho, ho! You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He is laughing? The hilarity of the movement made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Don't do it, he's a scumbag! Very well, let's hear your revised testimony, but don't fuck it up Oh this god time, right? damn it! Good luck, you can't fix the broken testimony, buddy. And I'll break your face. Witness testimony. She ran to the left. And we ran out of time. Uh, Until next no, time, guys gonna... and girls, we'll be making more puns. Signing off.